Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin', people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do before we get started. Go ahead and do your boy a solid and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know when your boy is going live or dropping this heat. And click that join button, man. Make sure you get in the family. You can get some of these videos before they even go live. You'll be the first to witness it. But as y'all know, Prime has had this everybody's reporting on this incident that happened friday with the reporter sean keeler cbs a lot of this stuff and what has surprised me the most is that shannon sharp and ocho cinco was on nightcap and they were reporting on this and shannon sharp is a big proponent of if you don't know what's going on and you are friends with one of the parties pick up the phone and give them a call before you speak on it live on TV or anything else. Know what you talking about before you jump your behind up there and say so. So let's go. That's reporter. Right, right. Unfortunately, we had technical difficulties and we weren't able to play the sound and that created confusion. Mm -hmm. Let's take a listen to the sound and then we'll talk about it afterwards. That's the end of that question, I guess. <laughs> Next guy. Eric Christensen with CBS Sports Colorado. Um, Tyler, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing nothing with CBS. Next question. Joe Rigo, my ain't got nothing to do with you. This is above that. Ain't got nothing to do with you. I got love for you. I appreciate you. Respect you. Ain't got nothing to do with you. They know what they did. I'm here in Denver, not National. You are who you are. Okay. CBS is CBS. Mm -hmm. All right. Joe Rigo, my life. Ain't got nothing to do with you. I respect you. I'm, I just why I told you that I'm looking you in the eye as a man. I respect you. I got love for you. But what they did was foul. What 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 what, 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 what happened there, boy? Back in July, CBSSports.com yeah. ranked Prime as one of the worst power conferences coaches in the country. Prime was ranked second worst in the conference behind Kenny Dillingham mm. at Arizona State. Yes, sir. And he was ranked 61st out of coaches at the FBS level. Yes, sir. Now, out of all people to do what's about to be done, I would have expected Shannon Sharp to be the last one to do what he's about to do. To go on TV or on the internet and speculate about what he thinks or go off something that was reported through another site, another venture, instead of doing what Shannon says you should always do, pick up the phone and call somebody. And he's going to explain, he got prime numbers. He know how to do this. So I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. This is new to time. Time is never, time since he's been playing sports. Right have always been the best, always been told he was the best. Yeah. For the first time, mm -hmm. he not the best. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean what, he, the guy that, I mean, the guy that was asking the question, right. that was a part of he CBS. didn't say that. Right. He just happens to work. So I guess he has a blanket for CB, CBS in what general. What they did. Now, what they, I, have a, what, I have a question. Are, are we sure the reason that he didn't want to talk to the affiliate that was a part of CBS, are we sure the reason why is based on the rankings that were put out in July? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And right there is where we laid a fault at Shannon Sharp's feet. Because you had a day. If you notice in the beginning, they said they had a problem the day before, so they couldn't play the audio or watch the video. So you had 24 hours to call Coach Prime before you even did anything about this. You would have came in this with a whole different perspective. As you see, Ocho asked him, are we sure that this is the reason why he didn't answer the dude's question? But what, what did Shannon say? Yes. But that ain't the reason. I keep telling y'all, CBS did something to Prime. I don't know what it is, 
but I know it ain't got nothing to do with football because he told them they were foul. If you black and you said somebody did something that was foul, that means you completely out of bounds, dog. You just screwed up the whole game. Prime don't care nothing about y'all critiquing him or grading him as a coach. He been used to that his whole life, his whole career. He don't care nothing about that. Being the 15th out of 16 coaches, Prime don't give a shit. But CBS did something else. But we gonna finish this off real quick. Y'all check this. Yeah, out. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. Hey, we, we, we got it. We got a new year coming up now. We got, we got, yeah. we got a new year coming up. So it's only, it's only one, it's only, it's only one way to change that. We can't get mad. Yeah. If somebody say, of all athletes that do sports podcasts, Nightcap might be the 50th best. What? Wait. They not one. They not top ten. They might be no fifty. Nah, shit. We 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 top three. I don't care what nobody say. They got me fucked up. But the thing is, is that that's somebody's opinion. Mm -hmm. I can what you what people think. I, that ain't. I, we can't do anything about that. We just keep doing what we do. Right. Time just have to keep coaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he, gonna be he can't. And and he. I mean, he tell the guys block out the noise, drown out the noise. Time go put together a nine and three or ten and two season. Mm -hmm. That that, that what they've been saying. He time is bit time has always been in the light. So he knows people have always tried to take solo shots. At him. Yeah, they called him selfish when he tried to help the Braves win a title, and he was also playing for the Falcons. So they've always tried to to put label him as such mm -hmm. as being selfish. Right. He's supremely confident, and rightfully so. Yeah. Right there. You hear all that. You hear him say it. He's been judged all his life. He's supremely confident. And this is what disappoints me about Shannon. Because he preaches this all the time. Pick up the phone if you don't know or if you have a problem. That's what he preaches. And trust me, I'm a supporter of Nightcap. I'm a subscriber. I'm a subscriber of Club Shay Shay. I got two bottles of Shea by Laportier in my cognac cabinet because I'm a cognac drinker. That's what I do. I got Ocho cigars because I'm a cigar guy. That's what I got. I got some of them 84 expensive ass clothing. That's what I do. I support them. But right here, he dead wrong because he did not pick up the phone and call his boy and say, hey, man, What's going on with this right here? Shannon wrong. Debt wrong. Now you paint your boy in the light as being petty and can't take being judged by his peers or the people that do their job instead of calling him and seeing what the actual problem is. If you're a prime friend, you know that being called the 15th best coach in the doggone conference does not bother him. I'm not close with Prime. I don't know Prime, but I know how Prime operates. And from the get-go, from day one, when I say this happened, I have told y'all, CBS did something and it's personal because he said they were filed. They are filed. They did something completely wrong. They did something to this man. And he don't like it. In other words, he would have answered that question from an affiliate. But Shannon Sharp is dead wrong for not picking up the phone and calling his boy. Because he should have known that is out of Dion's character. And he don't act that way. But anyway, man, we going to get out of here. I'm going to let y'all do what y'all do in the comment section. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I still fuck with Shannon and Ocho. They're my dudes. I watch them every time they come on. Because I'm on the road when they come out at night, usually. So, they my entertainment. And I love them to death. Love the entertainment. Been supporting Shannon since he was at CBS. But it is what it is, man. We're going to get out of here. Y'all have a good day. Peace. Thank you. God bless you all, man. Be safe.